This is the new Ducati Scrambler 2G and the company is calling it that because this is effectively the second generation of the Scrambler. The Scrambler has been around for about 8 years now and this is by far the most substantial update. It may look familiar but there's a lot that's new underneath. This motorcycle gets a brand new chassis and the subframe is a bolt-on unit. Now the idea is that people in the modification scene can change that and that makes the Scrambler more appealing to those who want to make a custom motorcycle out of it. Chassis brand new, swing arm is also new and the rear shock has been moved a little in towards the center. What's the same is that they've retained suspension, it's an upside down front fork, monoshock at the rear. The wheelbase is the same, the chassis dimensions are the same, rake and trail, the wheels are the same and so are the tires. Now the idea here with the new chassis was to make this a lighter motorcycle. The Scrambler was always a small and light and easy bike. This one is 4 kilos lighter than before. And at about 185 kilos, it's lighter than most Royal Enfields out on sale. So this is a really easy and accessible motorcycle. It's also quite a small one. But I'm 6 foot 1, I fit on it quite comfortably. Although people who are short will appreciate the fact that the seat is just a little bit under 800 mm. So if you're tall, you will fit. If you're short, you'll find this to be a friendly motorcycle. However, for those of you who like your big bike to feel big, this really won't do it for you. It feels like a slim, easy bike. Okay, now for the engine. It makes the same amount of power and torque as before, but Ducati has done some work on the internals and the idea was to make the engine lighter. However, what for me is the biggest change is that the gearbox is now really much more improved. Shifts are smooth, they're light and they're precise and it's really quite easy to find neutral which is a typical problem with Ducatis. That gearbox is great and I hope to see this sort of improvement in other Ducatis as well. Out on the road, this is an air-cooled engine with a little oil cooler. It is the most simple of the Ducati engines. It makes a little less than 75 horsepower but it's still a quick bike. You can blast past 150 km hour very easily. Top speed will be somewhere close to 200. So for those of you who want something quick, this bike still does that. The downside with this engine is that it needs a valve clearance check every 12,000 km and a full Desmo service needs to be done every 24,000 km. That will make ownership costs higher than with similarly priced big bikes from other brands but there is another side to the Scrambler that will be quite nice in India. What's nice is that it's very ready for India if you think about it. There's 150mm of suspension travel at both ends, chunky tyres and 175mm of ground clearance. Again, those numbers are similar to what they were earlier, but overall, this is an easy bike for our market. Now, with the engine updates, one of the things Ducati changed is how this bend pipe comes out of the engine. The old one, in my opinion, looked nicer. There was one pipe coming out of here and one pipe out of there. They merged down together and they went into the exhaust. Ducati though says that this design will reduce the amount of heat felt on the rider and that's something really valuable back home in India. Now, I can't really tell you if that worked because all day today the temperature never went above 20 degrees but that's something we're going to have to go home and check out. The end can looks quite similar to the old bike, it's a nice slim unit but there is now a big catalyst underneath. Another big change with this motorcycle is the electronics. The bike now gets a TFT display, it's full colour and the layout is similar to what you'll see on the Panigales. Easy to look at, easy to use. There's also four levels of traction control, you can turn the traction control off. There's cornering ABS, but you can't turn the rear ABS off. So in effect, this bike does have some decent suspension travel, it does have some semi knobbly tyres. It's not really an off-road motorcycle. The foot pegs are slightly high up, you can't turn off the ABS, so it's a light road like trail bike but you want to keep this one on the road. Now the good news is that when you're on the road it's a really nice handling machine. It turns in quickly, it'll keep up with most bikes if you're a good rider and you will have a lot of fun. That 18 inch front wheel has slightly less feel coming back to the rider but there's still a lot of lean angle available. Now even though there's just one disc brake in the front it's a huge 330mm unit which is the same size as in the Panigale V4. The caliper is also a quality unit, it's a Brembo M4.32, which is what you'll get on the Panigale V2. And overall, the braking performance is really good. What I also like about this bike is that it now feels a little more premium. They have redesigned things all over, the fuel tank design is new, 
there are these nice brushed aluminum panels added to the side. This exhaust heat shield is aluminum and the tail section I think is done really well. It looks smart and you have a neatly recessed grab handle for the pillion. It looks familiar but it also feels a little more expensive and a little more premium. And for a Ducati, that is always a good thing. The Scrambler is now available in 9 bright and youthful colours and there are 3 variants in total at the moment. Those variants include the Icon version that you see here, as well as the Full Throttle and the Night Shift. Each variant has slightly different styling, as well as a differently shaped handlebar. Now overall, the impression of this motorcycle is that it's just easy. It's easy to ride at low speeds, it's easy to ride fast, it's very forgiving, it's smooth, it has a lot of feel through the engine but not a lot of vibration. Easy is the word, but there's only one area where it's not easy, and that's on your wallet. Now this bike is going to come to India somewhere in the fourth quarter of this year and Ducati tells us that the expected price is about 10.4 lakhs ex showroom. That's nearly 2 lakhs more than what it currently is and that puts it above things like the Kawasaki Z900 or the Triumph Bonnevilles and it makes it an expensive bike. But then again, Ducatis are not affordable motorcycles and the Scrambler gives you that Ducati experience but in a bike that's much easier to use than some of its bigger siblings. So, if you want an entry point into the Ducati family but you want a simple, easy bike, I think you'll really like what this has to offer as long as you're not chasing value for money.